Good Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah, beautiful blue sky out there. <laughs> this is uh, meteorologist Ted Schmidt, and uh, yeah, we have already set a record for today. Uh, actually, we did that before I even got to work this morning. I came to work and I saw the temperature and I said, all right, here it is. We've already broken the record. 18 was the previous record low temperature for today, and we really shattered it. I mean, it just happened so quickly. We bottomed out at 14 degrees this morning before sunrise. And uh, from here, we, we try to make our way back into the 30s. But it is going to be a cold one, once again, very similar to the weather we had yesterday. Remember, we had all that sunshine. Uh, pretty raw winds. It won't be quite as windy as yesterday, but still kind of the same uh, situation, very winter-like. And then in the afternoon, we have snow showers to talk about. But right now, as we look outside, uh, just at 8.30 this morning, here's our uh, our Gwaltney Group camera from downtown Rochester. 17 is the temperature. Feels cold with those 10 mile per hour winds. Uh, we're talking about temperatures and wind chill levels more reminiscent of the middle of winter. Or maybe even, which would actually, in many cases, be actually a decent weather day for winter. If you wake up in, in, in uh, January, February, in the teens, you'd be pretty happy with that at that time of the year. But it is kind of more reminiscent of that, especially when you look out the window and you see a big coating of snow on everything. Uh, and we're going to add more to that today, just a little bit, though, just a, a tiny amount, just kind of like what we had yesterday. We had a, a quarter of an inch of snow officially at Rochester on Monday evening came through just during uh, Nick, Nick Jansen's 6 o'clock weather uh, last evening. I was watching it on TV and looking out the window watching the snow come in and looking at my phone and the radar going, oh, here it comes. And uh, it all worked out just like that. And I think we'll see a little burst of snow shower activity like that once again later today. Uh, but right now, a uh, pretty cold round of sunshine. 17 in Rochester. It's 23 in Mason City. 23 in Rushford on our way to about the freezing mark. Very similar to those temperatures we had yesterday. But again, not the 30 mile per hour gusts. Later on, we will see gusts around 20 maybe 25 miles per hour for the afternoon. But, uh, it feels like five right now. Air pressure is steady. Uh, day planners say plenty of sunshine. There's that afternoon and early evening snow. That will be done uh, certainly before sunset because we'll lose that daytime heating. These are kind of instability-driven uh, snow showers. So they warm up the surface a little bit. You have that cold air loft. A little wave of low pressure interacts with that and kicks off these snow showers. And we'll have that for parts of the afternoon. Those winds, though, uh, kind of kind of rough, 15, 18, 22 miles per hour, that type of thing. Keeps that wind chill in the single digits, teens, maybe to, uh, 21, 22 will be the wind chill at best today. Pretty cold stuff. Uh, but cold sunshine right now. See a couple of those little blips on the radar coming in from the northwest, and we're going to see some snow showers coming in in early to mid-afternoon. High temperatures around 32 today. Keeping in mind, the average low temperature is 36. The typical high, 57. We have a long way to go before we get anything that resembles mid-April weather, but we will get somewhere a little closer by the weekend, uh, closer anyway. Uh, but right now we'll have to be a little patient. Snow showers today, cold, quiet, cool weather for the middle part of the week. We talked to temperatures still only struggling to get above freezing for highs, and so a handful of hours each day. All this abundant sunshine will be above freezing, so you'll melt a little more of that snow, but it's... Uh, it's going to be a slow process. We won't be completely snow-free, I think, in the landscape until the weekend, which is not a bad thing. We don't want to melt things too quickly. We've had a lot of snow, uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 inches across the, the, the area uh, from Sunday. That all melted at one time. We'd have some flooding problems, but uh, it looks like we're going to slowly melt things down. Here's a future cast watching these snow showers in our area come in for the afternoon and early evening. Again, a coating to maybe, maybe a quarter inch of snowfall and some of the heavier snow showers reducing visibility at times. Uh, tonight, clear skies, another record low. 18 is tonight's record as well. Same year, too, 1962. Uh, we're going to be in around 14 or 15 overnight. And then tomorrow, a couple of flurries. Still possible. Occasional sun, but not as breezy as even today. Like a 15 or 16 mile per hour wind and high temperatures tomorrow. Uh, on their way to the mid 30s, a couple of degrees warmer than today's low 30s. And then on Thursday, it's even better, even less wind, more sun, and we'll top out around uh, close to 40, maybe just shy of that. Today, t snowfall amounts, again, about a quarter inch of snow, a little more in north central Wisconsin, but uh, just a little minor situation for today. And then long term, this is for next week, uh, uh, April 19th to the 23rd, the 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Uh, we are on the edge of the cold of the normal average, uh, cold than average temperature. So we're talking about temperatures. Instead of upper 50s, it would be typical next week. I think we're going to be low and mid 50s. Uh, but that looks to be something consistent in the long run, something much more seasonable starting Saturday. So better weather is ahead. But today, snow showers. 
breezy and cold with gusts out of the west up to 25 miles per hour. Austin 33, Rochester 32, La Crosse 34. Cold sun, uh, yeah, the winds right now pretty tame, but they will give you a little breezier this afternoon with that uh, thermal mixing, the, the sun and, and those showers coming through. They will kick up some winds at times. Tonight, a record low is expected, a record cold overnight. 15 expected low with the lighter west wind. Uh, and then tomorrow, a few flurries, a brisk west breeze up to 20 miles per hour, 35. Uh, seven day tracker looking at uh, those 50s coming back. There they are for the weekend. Next week, that's where we're going to be low and mid 50s. And it's not out of the realm of possibility we'll touch 60 at some point next week as well. And it does look like uh, in a couple of weeks, we are going to start consistently seeing more typical weather, not uh, something even slightly below average. I think we're going to start seeing more of those. 58, 62, 65 degree days as we close out April. This look like things get better there. The middle part of the month, we knew coming into this about a week or six, seven, eight days that we started seeing this stretch of this week and next week colder than average. And it certainly has uh, been just that, but I think we will see improvement. Uh, and some of it shows up this weekend. Uh, here's the seven day outlook uh, light snow showers this afternoon, a couple flurries tomorrow. Weekend looks dry, breezy, warmer, 50s. And again, next week looking pretty decent. Maybe a little rain in the middle of next week, but not a whole lot in the way of weather makers down the road. So, uh, for the most part, tranquil weather. Just have to be patient, watch the slow meltdown, and enjoy uh, pretty uh, tame uh, weather conditions after today's snow showers. In the meantime, uh, stay warm, everybody. We'll see you right back here tomorrow uh, for a slightly warmer Wednesday.